Wolves. iPad prototype sells for 10200 and this is from Gizmodo. <laughs> Again? <laughs> again? Hmm. There's an again? What is it with Apple and their prototypes? <laughs> Early iPad prototype with two dock connector. Well, I huh. just had them and I ran a bolt. Yeah. It, it basically, you... It, the, you know, this goes with how I was arguing with the slate form factor in general. That it, it's, you know, the dock extension. This is made to be dock, landscape, or platform. Oh. So it did have two docks. That's an interesting... Um, Whether that will be the actual product or not. Huh. Yeah, no, well, I mean, this is old. This is old. This is off of 2010, so... Yeah. I don't know. Well, this is, and this is go a... Seven inch and all this other stuff, I don't... Well, I'm well, just interested. This is a dual. It's got. A, it's like a dock for landscape and a dock for portrait. Yeah, but that that didn't make huh. it to market. That's not the version no, that went make to market. To market. No. And you know, honestly, I can understand. This is not me just uh, criticizing Apple and saying, "Well, Apple wanted complete control." No, honestly, that's a bad design. To be perfectly honest, because rather than have a hardware connection like that, you need a hardware connection for charging and direct connect. But honestly, if I want to make a device that can unidock like that, I would just use Bluetooth. I wouldn't need a physical hard dock on all four sides or two sides of the thing. I would just make the dock use Bluetooth. That's me. It's about the Apple connector. I, 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 I mean, do you think that? Do you really think there's any necessity for the extra fifty cent part, which adds five dollars retail, which depends? I mean, if it's using. People are, it seems to be a lot of consumers are using the iPad for TV and stuff. Let's say you wanted to dock it landscape wise, I guess. You know, mm -hmm. there's. I, I guess it could be of some, some use doing it that way. Um, you know, you put in a stand and stuff like that. I don't know. Well, okay, but if, okay, if the consumer really wants that. Is there anything to stop somebody from taking the device and sliding it into their dock sideways instead of straight down so it is docked? I don't right? know. So I don't know. I, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm sure there could be a cable, I don't know, the cable would have to come up this way, I guess. Oh. I mean, you just shaped, you just <laughs> Obviously the prototype had two docks, I mean, that's interesting to me. Well, and you know where that comes from. It comes from the fact that they were um, that they made the thing where it has no up or down, which means if somebody's in the sideways mode and they they uh, the, the that that's actually to deal with the fact that there is no top or bottom to the thing. Really? Because if you're in the sideways mode, it's like okay, do I turn it right or left to dock it? Because I don't remember which side the thing is on. <laughs> I can see that being annoying to the user. That's probably why they did that. More than one of their developers got confused by playing around with the thing in development. But I, I can see why they decided not to release it that way. Yeah. Yeah. I still can't right. believe they paid 10k for it, though. Oh well, that's just a you know collector. I'm sure that they're doing it for a collection on that. Uh, it is, you know, a modern day success. So. Uh, yeah, so they, they collect, you know, people that like to collect, I'm sure they're not buying it for anything other than collection. Um, and, and when it is part of a collection, like, stuff like that can make some money. Oh, they're never, whoever bought that's never going to sell it. You know that. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's... <laughs> you never yeah. know when they need cash, right? 